Hi everyone, it's Jen and it's Saturday. I know I'm late, but better late than never. So this week we've been talking about social media and uh, about forums or groups or just websites in general that we are a part of or that we read or frequent that have helped us along our body acceptance journey or just self-acceptance or even just a place that you feel comfortable and accepted. Just like Lisa, Danielle also invited me to join a group on Facebook called the Big Girls Club. And um, I am really enjoying how everyone is just so encouraging, no matter where you are in your journey, your self-acceptance and fat acceptance journey, you are welcome and you're not judged. And I love that, you know? I'm also a part of two other uh, plus size communities on Facebook that deal more with fashion, um, I think, than, than just kind of general self acceptance and fat acceptance. One is called Aussie Curves, which is um, a fashion challenge group where um, there are themes posted every week and you have to dress to that theme and you post it on your blog or on. Instagram or Facebook and people can comment and it's it's a lot of fun and then the, the other one that I'm a part of is called Perth Curvettes which is obviously just for people who are in Perth Australia. Perth Curvettes uh, tends to be a little bit more general you know even though it is a fashion a fashion group they tend to allow general conversations about I don't know anything to do with being plus size so it doesn't have to just be about fashion whereas Aussie Curves um, some of the girls can get really, really upset when you deviate and start talking about things still to do with being plus size, but aren't about fashion. So um, if you're from Perth and you'd like to join Perth Curvettes, um, look for them on Facebook. And if you'd like to join Aussie Curves, look for them on Facebook. Excuse me. Another website I'd like to go to is uh, Pinterest. And I just search for things like fat acceptance, uh, body positivity, size acceptance health at every size and I love to just kind of read the things people have pinned and repin them to mine I haven't actually been on Pinterest for a while I have to admit but that's something I really do enjoy doing when I have the time um, I also think Tumblr is a great place too there's a lot of resources on um, Tumblr you know about for you know for articles and links to to really interesting posts about health at every size and, and everything like that I think the thing with Tumblr, though, is that it can get very judgmental and a little bit exclusive to in some ways. And sometimes you'll find a lot of angry fat ladies and angry feminists, um, you know, talking about obviously fem feminist issues and fat issues. And they can seem really exclusive and a little bit judgmental um, on people who are trying to better themselves or trying to educate themselves by asking questions that may anger them. And it can sometimes be very exclusive. And it's very difficult sometimes to kind of get the answer that you're looking for without being ranted at. But in saying that, there is a reason why they're angry. You know what I mean? And it's still a great place to learn about got all sorts of topics. Um, so I really highly recommend just going on Tumblr and searching whatever it is you want to, whatever the topic or theme or issue that you are, uh, what is it you are interested in and passionate about, I'm sure you'll find something on Tumblr. That's it. Those are my however many there were. I didn't even count. But yeah, um, that's it. Have a good weekend and we shall see you all next week for whatever topic is next.